So, the potato processing unit. What's it all about? Well, I'm going to show you. So you're going to find this production chain just sort of south and east of the start farm on Zilonka. And we're going to be using it today. So first up, how much is it going to cost? So if we click on there like that, 120 grand. Right, so we'll buy that. So there's your production chain menu. You've got your loading in point down the side of the building there. Then you've got your pallet spawn point just there. So what are we going to be making from this? Obviously, you're going to be putting in potatoes. But you're going to be putting a few more things in as well. So you need to make potato chips. To be fair, they, they all make the same thing. So it just depends on what you've got lying around. So you can use sunflower oil, canola oil and olive oil. Now they're all going to run at the same cycle per month. But that's interesting because you've got production cost for the sunflower oil was 120. And then for the canola oil, it's 144. And then for the olive oil, it's 48. So the production costs are going to go down. I mean, the, the amount that you need as well is one less for the olive oil. I suppose it's because you don't get as much olives as you do for sunflowers and canola. But all right, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Now, I just happen to have a load of potatoes and a load of all the oil to go in. So I'm going to chuck it all in here. Then we're going to be making some potato chips. Right, so I've got all my stuff in. So let's start them up. So we'll do the sunflower, the canola and then the olive oil. So all we need to do now is wait for the potato chips to appear right so we've got ourselves a pallet of potato chips and that's interesting because obviously it only comes out as one output but it was using everything so we've got a mixture of sunflower canola and olive oil potato chips all in one box all right fair enough so what are we talking about from a money perspective so obviously we've got three different recipes. So the first one is the sunflower oil version. So you're going to need 6,667 litres of potatoes. Now you'd have sold those off for 4,273. You're also going to need 333 litres of sunflower oil. You'd have sold that off for 2,091. Now for this pallet of 2,000 litres of potato chips, you'd have sold that for 8,998, giving you a profit of 200 or 2,000 even, 634. So that's all right, two and a half grand. So for the canola oil, same recipe going in, 333 litres of canola oil, so 1,985 you'd have sold that off for individually. And then the 6,667 litres of potatoes, again, 4,273. And you'd have sold the pallet off again, 8,998. But on this one, you'd have made a little bit more, 2,740. Oh, that's all right. And then the last one we got is the olive oil version. So 267 litres of olive oil, so a little bit less. And potatoes is the same, 6,667. Now, you'd have made 2,388. That's because the olive oil has got a higher sale point. Yeah, so just bear that in mind if you are making these. The best one's going to go for is canola oil. You're going to be doing it. I mean, to be fair, all three of them making yourself over two grand per pallet. So that's all right. Now, whilst we're down here, just before we finish off, the rest of the production facilities in the premium edition have all worked with our auto load trailer. But I'm just going to double check just to make sure. I don't want to assume. So we'll lift that up, spin it around. And it should go in it no problem. And obviously, potatoes is one of those things. There you are, it's going in. Excellent. Like the rest, no messing. Now, potatoes, one of those things, yeah, it's, it's a long, laborious process, let's face it. And you haven't got big machinery to get it done with. But, you're talking that sort of profit coming into it. Well, coming out of it, even once you put it, the potatoes in. I don't know, it might make it a bit of a difference. It might make you want to go for it. Fair enough. So drop it in the comments below. Are you going to be using this facility? We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.